We're learning more about two people who died in police custody just hours apart. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office's 37-year-old Patricia Affronti died at the hospital after she was found unresponsive in her Duval County jail cell yesterday afternoon. She had been arrested after being found passed out with her newborn child in the car and the heater on the highest setting. A few hours later, 63-year-old Melvin Brown was also rushed from the jail to the hospital where he died. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci joins us live from the Duval County Jail. Vic, do we know what happened? Well, investigators are still trying to find that out tonight. They say these two cases are not related. They were in the same building around the same time, but they say these people didn't know each other and there is no connection between the two. They also say there were no fights here involving them and the corrections officers did not have to use any force on them. Still, a lot of people who know these people are asking questions. I'm going to really miss him. I'm really going to miss him. This woman has some concerns about why her friend Melvin Brown died in custody yesterday. He was real loving, caring, and he loved a lot of people. The Air Force veteran was being held on charges of attacking a police officer downtown. But I believe he wasn't on the right medication that they should have been given him. Investigators say he banged his head against a glass window in the jail's mental health area. Do you think this was preventable? It could have been preventable. That same day, in the same jail, corrections officers found Patricia Affronti unresponsive in an isolation unit. She was arrested the day before for child neglect, after firefighters say they found her passed out in her SUV behind this apartment complex. Witnesses say they discovered her newborn baby red as a lobster. The infant had a 104 degree temperature because the SUV's heat was on full blast. Rescuers rushed the baby to the hospital in critical condition. Nurses say he's doing better now. According to police, Affronti appeared to be on drugs and told them she just left a methadone clinic. Detectives are now investigating both in custody deaths. You know, a lot of these things, I won't have the answers until the autopsy is performed and the uh, results of that are made known to us. The jail is responsible for people who are having drug problems and are having mental health problems. Attorney Gene Nichols has litigated several in custody deaths over the years. He's not involved in these cases, but hopes both inmates were given the care they needed. No matter their mental health state, no matter their age, no matter how smart they are, the jail is responsible for them. They're responsible for their health. They're responsible for their safety and their well-being. We did reach out to Affronti's family members to see if they had any reaction to her arrest and her death. Have not heard back as of yet. Both of these cases under investigation right now in the hands of the medical examiner's office for that autopsy. After that, we'll find out a little bit more about their cause of death. By the way, there was a third in custody death just four days ago on Christmas Eve. That happened up on the north side when Jacksonville Sheriff's officers took a man into custody. They believe drugs may have been involved in his death. We're live downtown. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.